It is a, a cafe restaurant, fully licensed, seven days a week, seven till two in the afternoon. A predominantly a breakfast venue. I also have a massive focus on lunches as well. We pride ourselves on a good, very strong coffee program and tea program. There's nothing that goes on the list that I wouldn't personally have. The weekend before the, the shutdown happens, most surreal weekend of trade I think we've ever had. The Saturday was the best way to describe it if I was on the ship at the time. It's like the party atmosphere before the Titanic was going down. It was really, it was surreal and I went to the Brisbane Hotel, which is my local, um, to see how that was and it was the same. I went, oh, this is shut down for COVID. This is great. You know, people were lovely, they were nice. And then Sunday hit and it was the quietest breakfast we'd ever had. And it was a real eerie, eerie feeling. Um, then I did the same, went, well, how am I feeling for a breakfast venue? I'm gonna go back to where I went yesterday afternoon and the, and the feeling was exactly the same, almost just scary. And then we watched the, the shutdown coming through nationally and all that sort of stuff. So the Monday was just horrific. It was the best way to describe it was like deer at headlights. We felt as a collective that staying open in whatever capacity we could, being a local venue, being a suburban venue, Angie, my partner, and also my business partner as well, put together an idea for gourmet deli, takeaway, pop-up grocery shop, all that sort of stuff there, and executed that very quickly. My other business partner, uh, Navar, um, we gave him a brief that we want more takeaway, and we did heated home meals and all that sort of stuff. We changed the website, kept us afloat through some of the darkest periods we've been in three years. But making those small, subtle changes was the difference between metaphorically putting food on the table and not. You know, people support us best. I'd probably the most touching touching story, a, a woman I probably see once once a week, and I sort of know her by coffee order. And she comes in as the Thursday, a couple of Thursdays, I think it was the second Thursday into it. And she goes, Nathan, how are you going? I said, yeah, all right, all right. And I put on the brave face, well, I'm great, yeah, I'm really good. Yeah, no, just happy to be here, busting out of bed every morning, can't wait. And she goes, I was making myself a coffee. And I went, you know what, poured it down the sink, and, and she goes, I'm gonna go down to Blake Street and support Nathan. Humbling, to say the least. And you know, I've probably seen the best of people um, over the period of time. Some people need a little bit more time in isolation, but that's a very, very small minority. The local support of us, and that's, I suppose it comes back to our obligations, make sure we deliver. And as my late father always used to say to me, without passion there's nothing, so that is a focus for us here. And, and I hope everyone feels that when they walk in the front door, you know, treat it as your lounge room, if you will. Mm -hmm.